e-signing with DocuSign and the SharePoint Connector. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use DocuSign to get somebody to do a digital signing of a document you have in SharePoint and in the SharePoint Connector and in BC. And um, let's get straight into it. Here is my Business Central. And um, what I have done is that I have gone into DocuSign Setup, which is part of the SharePoint Connector, and I have filled out some secret codes from uh, from the DocuSign portal uh, where you define who you are in your app and all the good stuff. Uh, and I have connected this guy, so this is connected to DocuSign. And I'm now on a customer, and let's first actually create a document. So here is my letter to a customer document template, and I'll just call this contract of the year. Why not? It's generated, and uh, we can go in and take a look at that. And dear customer, the deal of a lifetime you just have to sign. Um, this is saved. I'm close out. We can see that you know when you're editing a document through the SharePoint connector, it gets saved and updated. Um, there's some weird caching going on sometimes in, in Office, but ignore that. Um, so we have a document, and now I can go to SharePoint and say e-signing. And I can tell who should sign this. I can say that perhaps multiple persons should sign it. Um, in this case, I'm just going to have it signed by me. Uh, I can also add attachments if I want to. Then it will become one long document. Um, but let's just keep it simple here. Uh, so I'll send this to DocuSign for signature. And DocuSign is telling us that this now has been sent. So probably if and there I got a ding. Um, and I got an email says that Eric at eFocus want Eric at Hogarth to sign. So I'll do that. And yes, I agree to use DocuSign. And I'll sign here. Signed by Eric. I think I'm done. Finish. Uh, and then I can save this in my own little signing archive if I want to on DocuSign. I'm done. Go away. So now we're back here in Business Central. I can go in and see, check what is the status that has been completed. And we get a check mark saying that the signed document has been downloaded. So I close this. Now we have two documents here on SharePoint. This is a PDF that is the signed version and a demo version. So it, this is just because I used the developer demo version of um, DocuSign. So, and this is proper sign, meaning that it has the uh, the digital signature is built into the PDF and all that good stuff. Um, so, it's done the right way, and it's sitting right here. So, that is how you get documents signed with the SharePoint Connector using DocuSign. You can also use Adobe Sign. There's another video for that. Um, and of course, this can be built in uh, to workflows. If you have customizations where you want to trigger something, then all these functions are available to your partner to use uh, to incorporate into whatever you're doing. Um, anyway, let me know, let us know if there's anything about the SharePoint Connector we can help you with. Um, you can catch us here and otherwise check some of the other videos on the product. Take care. Bye.